Hey, what's up guys, TSIHD here and today I will be talking about how you can root your Samsung Galaxy A5 2016. Now, firstly talking about the routing, routing is a process by which you can get a access to your system directory of your phone and uh, routing has its own disadvantages and advantages. Talking about the disadvantages first. Firstly, when you will root your phone, you will void your, avoid your warranty of your phone now if you void your warranty now if you will break your phone or if you get some hardware error then con the company will cost you money for getting it fixed and that cost can be higher than hundred dollars or approximately six thousand six hundred rupees now talking about the advantages by rooting your phone you can get full user experience by using Android. Now by after routing you install a custom recovery on your phone by which you can install custom ROMs on your phone and uh, th those custom ROMs can upgrade your phone up to latest. Now if you for example if you have a phone which is not upgradable to Six upgradable up to 5.1.1 lollipop and uh, you want to upgrade it to 7.0 nougat then you can root your phone and install a custom ROM on it which is not an official one but it is an unofficial one and upgrade your device now also by routing you can increase the RAM of your phone and uh, the biggest reason or uh, biggest advantage is that now we, are, we can get Google Assistant on rooted device which was only introduced in Pixel XL. Now by how we can get is we will be installing a exposed module. We'll be talking about that in the next video. I will upload a video on how we can get Google Assistant on any device running 6.0.1 or 7.1 no good. So again we'll be routing this Samsung Galaxy A5 2016 so let's head and root it. See, to follow on this process we need uh, quite a few things which will be needed to root your Samsung Galaxy A5 2016 so the first thing which we need is a, a PC or running Windows on it and uh, also an internet connection is very important to download the files which will i will leave a link in the description below so make sure to check the description below before you leave and also i would recommend you to use those files which i will leave a link in the description below to root your phone such as if you will use a super user zip i will leave a link in the description below for that also so also make sure to do use that one also only otherwise you will break your phone then another one is uh, Samsung Galaxy A5 2016 obviously and also I use a USB and, and also Samsung USB drivers should be installed on your PC so firstly these are the two files which we just downloaded now we will be getting to Odin and we'll be in extracting it then after extracting we will get the folders somewhere here and then let's go here and we'll be opening at the folder and here is the Odin tree program now just after opening it so here comes the phone part just go to settings and here we'll be going to about device and then go to software info and build number will be hitting it seven times until we get developer mode has been enabled then we'll be going to developer options and here we will be seeing OEM unlock now this will be disabled by default make sure to enable it and USB debugging is also enable it 
then switch off your phone and may, uh, wait for these soft keys to turn off and then when it goes fully turn off then we will be pressing volume down button and uh, home button and uh, power button simultaneously then here we will be getting this warning and we have to press volume up button then we will put the connect our USB with it and then when we will connect the USB we will be getting here 0 bracket com8 just right here and if it doesn't then you have to install the Samsung uh, USB drivers onto your laptop or computer which you are using then go to AP right here and click on it and then go to the we will be selecting our TWRP recovery and select it and open then as you can see here it is selected right here and then we will be hitting start and then here comes the phone part just after it is your device will restart automatically and uh, just after it is restarted just press these two the power volume up button power button and the home button and you can disconnect the USB then here as you can see here we are booted into the custom recovery then we will be going to install and uh, make sure to uh, copy the super user zip which you will get uh, which you will download from the link in the description below in the SD card and then go to select storage and micro SD card and hit ok then as you can see here here is the update super user and 2016 and a lot of text here and swipe to install it And just after the process is finished, you will be getting these two options right here, which is wipe cache slash Delvic and the reboot system. Click on reboot system and your phone will restart. Now this restarting will take a lot of time than normal and but this is normal, don't panic. And then when will your phone reboot? Just unlock your device and uh, as you can see here super user application will be added to you so thanks for watching my video and we'll talk to you in the next one peace